we are an experiential graphics manufacturer. So we do custom wall coverings, and more recently we've been getting involved in additive printing of Braille, which is essentially 3D printing of Braille. Uh, we've been working with CNIB, the Canadian National Institute for the Blind, and working with them to ensure a level of accessibility that just simply wasn't there before with traditional Braille manufacturing. So when uh, COVID-19 hit, uh, we started seeing that there was a gigantic shortage in personal protective equipment. So looking at the resources we had, looking at the team that we had, we thought, what can we do to help? How can we make life better? So we started brainstorming, we connected with our contacts, and we saw that there was a need for uh, CNC's, uh, for acrylic cut products. So we started creating the cough shields as well as the acrylic shields. When we were prototyping this, we kind of started with a simple rubber band around the head for the, sh uh, for the cough shields. The biggest obstacle was COVID-19. All of a sudden, our staff of 45 employees really just dwindled down to 15. For the production of this, we're taking four by eight sheets of acrylic and on our CNC cutters, we worked out the best deal to fit up two per sheet to get maximized usage. And from there, we were able to confirm our sizes and to make sure that they fit for the client application. For the face masks, again, we saw this trending on YouTube and we saw a lot of people were making face masks. We saw that there was a need for it in hospitals, for test centers. So we thought, again, we have the resources, we have the machinery, let's see what we can do. The production is one thing, but having our, our team behind us and pushing through, it's that human touch that really made the difference. Uh, so when it comes to the cough shields, um, we're essentially looking to get these into the hands of the essential workers. Uh, so anyone who's running tests, when they run them, you cough, and you need that extra additional protection uh, for those people on the front line. The surgeons in hospitals, uh, they'll also need these guards. This is really the main people who want to try to get this, get this into their hands. Anyone who can do something should try to do something because we have an amazing maker culture here in Toronto. Across Canada, there's a healthy maker community. So as a local supplier, we're trying to do everything we can. And I'm encouraging all local suppliers, do what you can, wherever you can, however you can. There are some amazing designers in the city and across the country that are just at home right now that you can, again, recruit to have them come up with a more efficient, cleaner designs that are faster on production. And the faster on production means the faster we can get them out to the essential services.